गाइस इट हैज़ फाइनली हैपन ए आई हैज़ कम टू टेक अवर जॉब अवे और प्रॉब्लम नॉट ओके आई माइट कॉन्ट्रैक्ट माई सेल्फ इन दिस वीडियो बट इफ यू डोंट ऑलरेडी नो कॉग्निशन रिसेंटली अनाउंस डेवन विच इज एन ए आई सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियर विच कैन डू बेसिकली एवरी थिंग सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियर कैन डू एंड दैट्स वॉट वी थिंक अबाउट इट राइट नाउ एंड दर इज अ लॉट ऑफ मिक्सड रिएक्शन इन द कम्युनिटी ऑन ट्विटर ऑन लिंकड इन ऑन इंस्टाग्राम पीपल आर जस्ट फ्रीकिंग आउट दैट इट्स गोइंग टू टेक अवे सॉफ्टवेयर डेवलपर जॉब्स एंड सॉफ्टवेयर डेवलपमेंट इज ओवर गो डू फार्मिंग एंड स्टफ लाइक दैट एंड आई नो इट्स 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 वाइल्ड राइट एंड टूडे आई एम हियर टू गिव माई ओन ओपिनियन on all of these things so before we go into the opinion part i want to first go into the tweet and see what devin is and what are the features and stuff and then i'm just going to go into my opinion and tell you what i think about it hold on hold on hold on before we move forward i want you to do me a favor go hit the subscribe button so that you support me in the process and you also get very good technical content on this channel i'm i'm going to wait for 5 seconds I don't think you have clicked so just make sure you click it and let's get back to the video all right this is the tweet it is from cognition labs it says today we are excited to introduce devin the first ai software engineer devin is the new state of the art uh, on the sve swe bench coding benchmark has successfully passed practical engineering interviews from leading ai companies and has even completed real jobs on a work Devin is an autonomous agent that solves engineering tasks through the use of its own shell, code editor and a web browser. When evaluated on the SWE Bench benchmark, which asks an AI to resolve GitHub issues and found found in real world open source project, Devin correctly resolves 13.86% of the issues unassisted, far exceeding the previous state of the art model performance of 1.96% unassisted and 4.80 assisted. check out the video devin can do in the thread below so there are, there are a lot of videos and there are a lot of features here uh, i won't go into the specific videos i will link this tweet in my description and you can always watch that but what i want to show you is like devin can learn how to use unfamiliar language so there is an a uh, ui for devin there might be somewhere around here i i will stop the sound and i'm going to pause here and let's see what's happening okay So this is the chat prompt and here you have the terminal and then you have a browser and then Devin also has a code editor so everything is built in which is pretty cool uh, so like if you just tell this tell Devin to build something he will probably go on Google search for it not Google technically like this any site which it finds and then go to the terminal do the necessary commands then use the code and then run the necessary com- commands and whatever and I think it it's pretty cool and it says Devin can contribute to mature production repositories. Hmm. <laughs> and then Devin can train and fine tune its own AI models which sounds pretty cool to be completely honest. We even tried giving Devin real jobs on Upwork and it could do those too. And I think this is where people are freaking out because uh basically Devin is doing what you are doing right now. You are like doing a job or you are a freelancer, you are going on Upwork or you are just doing whatever and uh devin is basically able to do what you are doing in uh just mere minutes or like i think one or maximum and uh what i think about it is that it's pretty cool tool to play around with and i'll i'll tell you more but uh, let's go to the le- rest of the points for more details on devin you can check your our blog post which you can always check it out and there are pretty good replies please sirs my family needs to eat sirs please stop development on this sirs <laughs> I, i mean i'm pretty sure it's a meme like people are finally now we all know who john doe is can devin go to my status update meetings for me <laughs> obviously not but i mean who is stopping you from using devin to create something that can do that for you <laughs> all the senior software engineers scoping so hard is kind of funny lol no no i have my own opinions i'll share those uh but To summarize, I don't think senior software engineers are going anywhere. CS majors right now, <laughs> rip me. Replaced by a machine before even getting the skills and a degree. We had a good run, bros. Is it over for us, folks? Yeah. And uh, th- uh, this comment is, I think it's pretty funny. This looks amazing, but wondering why I didn't just quietly spin up a thousand of work profiles and stealthily took over the freelancer economy. and which which makes sense to be completely honest and like i want to show you something like if you go to their page and their even website i guess and uh if you go to the career section of that website yeah if you go to the work with us you will see that there are applications for software engineers open 
which tells something like if you uh, i don't know if you already got it but i think you already know what what the gist of this video is going to be people are just freaking out and we haven't even tried it out yet nobody else knows how it works and there are a few people who have been testing it out and they usually mostly have like good reviews for it and um, but the thing here is that i'm not trusting anything until i use it uh, i absolutely love what they have built and i think it's going to help a lot of developers but unfortunately i don't think it's going to j replace any developers just yet i think there is a bracket of developers who can get replaced like the very very junior uh, software developers who are like okay let's take front end so like if you are learning react or if you are learning html css i think you are the one who has who is going to get replaced by this one and why do i say this because it's really not a model it's just an application that allows you to do that it's just a tool it's it's not really a model like uh, if we look there are only two major model and there might be a lot of them but i think gpt is one of the major models out there and i think that i don't think that it can compete with gpt4 uh, not in raw performance like uh, i mean raw performance of course gpt4 will do better but i think uh, they have done a pretty good job they might be using like some kind of models behind and I, i'm assuming it's gpt4 but we cannot assume without using it so what i think is that it's running multiple uh agents and it's trying to use a lot of different things at the same time for example what it's doing first of all it's taking a prompt so if you look at the videos i'm not going to play them but uh, if you look at the videos in the tweet what's happening is that it's taking a prompt it's breaking it down into several problems so it there might be a gpt4 running behind the scenes and which devin is probably asking them to break this down into smaller problems and then each of the problems are most probably worked individually and then linked back together and in terminal if there are some errors or if something is not working they can detect the error and they can probably use gpt4 to solve that error again so i think there's a lot of ai agents working together and are collectively called as devin so i don't think we have anything to worry about right now i am pretty sure that this is going to help a lot of developers to get things done very faster but what i think is that uh, this is better than gpt4 when it comes to development because there are a lot of ai agents working to the, together but i don't think it's going to replace senior software engineers just yet why do i say this because gpt4 or any other ai models make mistakes in their code and what happens is that if you are not a developer if you are like a newly found, newly new founder and you are just trying to build your platform and you don't know even a bit about coding and you use something like devin what would happen is that if there would be a bug you wouldn't know about it and a software engineer would probably know about it because they are looking at the code and i'm pretty sure that a senior developer wouldn't just copy paste a code without even looking at it this is all just speculation we never know like we cannot try it out right now so i cannot tell a lot of information about it but if i get access to it i'm probably going to make a video on it explaining how good is it on doing tasks but based on the videos uh, like uh, just be in their shoes like why would they have videos of things that fail right they might have made a lot of different uh, replications and they only chose the best ones to be in their videos so that's that's i think that's the best of devin you can get right so like they could have just gone outright and said create an entire e-commerce platform from, from scratch and if devin might have done that like that would be better for them to post as a video right but they used pretty simple but not that simple things like open source contribution doing an upwork task building a chrome extension and what not and uh, i think that's where it would be good like i think it uh, for scaffolding basic applications i think uh, this will be a very good choice devin will help you out but anything senior related like i see many people just talking about how senior roles will be obsolete and stuff but i think those people who are saying that are basically not senior software developers even i am not a senior software developer but i can clearly say that people behind like senior roles they have very good amount of knowledge on how things work and ai isn't there yet it might create bugs and it's not really accountable for that so like if you have if you hire devin you cannot really fire him and uh, yeah that's stupid but yeah what i think is that senior roles are still re relevant and like what what the best thing is like i am really excited for devin to come so like i'm not really feared about it because i don't think that it's going to replace senior like even intermediate level i think it can replace junior levels but uh not the mid or like the 
senior levels uh, developers so i'm really excited for it i want to see how it plays out and how it can help us developers move faster with our code so yeah i think i'm i'm very excited to try it out and like just imagine the possibilities like how much things you could do in just one day if you have like an ai software engineer just sitting beside you or in your computer like of course and that ai software engineer helps you out with stuff and like for example if you were like creating some kind of big application so like a full fledged e-commerce website instead of taking it like 14 days it might take you like 2 to 3 days because now there is somebody uh, basically a virtual ai software engineer helping you out with things of course there might be bugs and you can help it to solve the bugs and you can uh, write your own code and do stuff like that but i think this is the best thing for developers and developers really should capitalize this opportunity also i want to mention one clarification that when i say that ai is not going to replace software developers i mean by in the near future in the future we don't know what might happen like there might be super crazy ais that do everything and solve bugs on their own and like even find out the edge cases and do stuff like that and uh, we never know but for the near future i don't think you should be worried about that one more thing struck into my head that as developers we have been taking jobs of a lot of different professions so i think it's only fair that like if something happens to us we should be moving out and we should be doing something else maybe training these ais or like getting into ai and using ai to uh, boost our results or something like that like uh, we have been replacing people all the time <laughs> so i don't think it's the best thing to just cry about it if we get replaced or if we are in the danger of getting replaced also if you are a very junior developer like if you are still on the fence if you want to learn coding or if you want to pursue a different profession or you are just in college i think you should like speed things up i don't think that uh, in this ai world you will be really that relevant if things go forward and things go crazier i think you should go deep inside technologies and learn how those works and uh just try to build stuff and just try to make a name for yourself get to that senior level and i think you should be fine but like if you stay at that level if you are still on the fence for a very long time i think that ai is going to certainly replace you you are going to be an easy target for ai later so yeah that's my opinion so yeah that's what i think about devin what do you think about devin let me know in the comment section and i will make sure to respond to you or if you have any argument regarding to what i said please make sure you leave that in the comments as well make sure you click the like button you click the subscribe button and share this video with your friends maybe your developer friends who are like afraid of getting replaced by an ai maybe this video relieves them so yeah that's it for this video i'll see you guys in the next one bye